Hey guys, it's Tilly and check out my new hoodie. That's right. I got my logo put on this white hoodie because I thought if I paid for a logo, why don't I actually use it? And considering that it's going into winter in Australia, and when I say that it is still like 18 degrees today, and that is definitely class as hoodie weather. So I thought since I am a really messy person and should never wear white, why not order a white oversized hoodie with my logo on it that I can wear around? And that is what I did, and already I have makeup stains all on the neck of this because... I'm a smart girl. But I'm getting sidetracked and actually really, really hot in this hoodie, so I'm gonna get straight down to it. Today I am doing the first day book tag. I was tagged by Lily C. Reads. I'll leave a link to her video below and the original one by Katarina from Little Book Owl. So you guys check both of those out and thoroughly enjoy them, I guess. But not as much as you'll enjoy this one. I'm just kidding, I freaking love those girls and you guys will too. Alrighty, so question number one is The Awkward First Date. A book where something felt off slash it wasn't a bad book but lacked that spark for you. So the book that I have for that one is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. A lot of people might be a little bit offended by this because everyone absolutely loves this series. I have read I think the first two books and the entire time that I read them, like they're good but there's definitely something that feels off for me and I can't even tell you guys what it is, like I just, I just don't, I can't put my finger on it. There's something in these books that stops me from liking it a whole lot. Question number two is The Cheap First Date, book that turned out less than you expected. As one of the newest and highly anticipated releases, I thought this would be perfect for that question because I was highly disappointed by A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas. I haven't done an official video review on this book yet. I'm not entirely sure if you guys want me to do an official video review on this book, but I do have a good reads review that I will link below. It is kind of more of a rant than a review. I'm kind of, you know, all over the place in it, but I did write this book two stars out of five and even thinking about it it should really only be a one star out of five. I just did not enjoy this book and I'm so frustrated with things that happened and I definitely was very underwhelmed by what happened in this story. So now I've got a few unpopular opinions out of the way, let's get on to question three which is well prepared first date, better than expected. You guys might not be expecting this because since I am a huge lover of this book and I promote this book in pretty much every single video because it is my all time favourite book, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, you wouldn't believe that I actually expected this book to be really really crappy. I remember this like snobby chick that I went to school with and she was reading this book and she was being so pretentious about it and I wanted to just lob it at her head but instead I thought hey why don't I just get the book, read the book, have an educated conversation with her and tell her how stupid I think she is. We actually became pretty good friends because we both really loved this book. Question number four is hot but dumb, basically me. Hot but dumb, pretty book, not so hot on the inside. This is really easy for me. I literally bought this book for the cover and that one is Read Me Like a Book by Liz Kessler. Like those colors just, just go so nicely. But I absolutely despise the story on the inside. Question five is a blind date, a book you picked up not knowing anything about. I do this a lot more than I probably should. You guys know me for also buying really pretty books without ever actually wanting to read them because I have a serious problem. But in this case, the book that I most recently bought and did not know what the story was about is an auto buy author on my list and that is Patrick Ness and it is a new book release. I finished this one relatively quickly and I just, yeah, I literally had no idea what the story was about even after I'd bought it and started reading it. I didn't bother to look at the blurb. I was kind of just like, surprise me. Question number six is speed dating a book you read super fast. The most recent book that I have read faster than any of the other books that I have read this year is Ballad for a Mad Girl by Vicki Wakefield and this book was so freaking good. It is probably one of my favourite books that I have read so far and probably in my top 10 favourite books of all time. I have written a spoiler free review on this book which I will link to my Goodreads below. You guys can check that out and really fall in love with this book as much as I have. Question number seven is The Rebound, a book you read too soon after a book hangover and it kind of ruined the book for you. I can't actually tell you which books have been ruined for me from a book hangover, but I can say that The Queen of the Tealing by Erica Johansson has been ruined for me because I always go to read this book after reading a really great one or after being in a book hangover and I swear I have started this book about 11 times and I have never got past the first three chapters and it just sits there unread and every time that I do feel like reading it, I just get like a few pages in and I'm done. So I apologise, I will get around to you one day but right now... You're back on my TBR. Question number eight is The Overly Enthusiastic Date, a book that felt like it was trying too hard. Some of these questions are literally just asking for your unpopular opinion, and I know that a lot of you guys might disagree with me, but this book is the last time that I've read a book and felt like it was trying too hard. It was kind of like the characters were so cliched and the storyline itself was just trying to fit into like a stereotypical YA book. And that one is 
Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland. I can say if you guys do like generic contemporary YA books, then you should read this, although there is a plot twist at the end of the book that did redeem it, but as for like the characters and the storyline and everything like that, I was kind of just like, this is just not happening. Question number nine is the perfect the perfect first date, which is basically any date with me. A book that did everything right for you, and that one is easy to answer. It is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. This book had every aspect that I like in any story, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it, and I know a lot of other people enjoy it, and it is a really hyped up book, and it really deserves all that hype. So if you guys haven't read it, you guys should read it. And lastly is question 10, and that is Humiliating First Date. Book you're embarrassed to admit you liked, slash embarrassed to be seen reading in public for whatever reason. This is really tough because I am generally not embarrassed to be reading any story, and most of the time I will happily read books outside in public despite what their cover looks like or how ridiculous it is because it's kind of like I don't have time to worry about what people would be thinking about me for reading this book when I actually need to be reading this book because that is just waste of time not reading a book. I can't really pick a certain book for that but I can pick an author. I don't generally like to read romance books on trains and buses and in public because I get real secondhand embarrassment during like sexy scenes and books and I can mean like literally just a really easy makeout session. Like, it just say he gets home from work and gives her a big kiss before he goes and makes dinner or something. I will get real flustered just reading scenes like that. And so I think that for that answer, I would have to say that I don't like to read Colleen Hoover books in public. Some of them are pretty raunchy in parts. And I just get, like, real flustered because, like, I get worried about people reading what I'm reading and then judging me for reading that. And then, like, when I'm reading it, I feel like it's just supposed to be this private moment between the characters. And not only am I invading, but, like, everyone else is just invading. And it's just... I think I really overthink it in my head. And so I tag these five following people and if you guys are watching this and you want to do the book tag then I tag you guys to do it as well. But the ones that I have also specifically chosen is Casio from Books K, Jay from JJ slash The Awkward Bookworm, Liv from Stories for Coffee and Chami from Relight Wildfire and Cameron from Book Movie Guy. So I will leave all of their links in the description below. Check out their channels and hopefully check them out when they do this video. And <laughs> that is a lot of speaking to do. Why am I speaking so fast? <sighs> Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and this tag and if you guys want me to do any more specific videos let me know because I very easily am running out of content to do in relations to books. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully you guys have a lovely bookish day and I'll see you next time. Mwah.